Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie Wild and I'm a fitness trainer from Melbourne. Today I'm going to take you through a five minute express daily fitness routine. Ideally you'll take this class as soon as you wake up in the morning and it's going to set you up to have an awesome day ahead. First things first, we're going to start down on all fours, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And let's begin by warming up through our wrists and forearms by doing some big circles with the body over the hands and then back. Check in with your breathing here. Take some nice deep breaths. Inhale as you take your chest forwards, exhale as you take it back and then go the other way. And what this does is it loosens up our forearms and our wrists. We spend so much time using our hands throughout the day. If you're typing or on your devices, driving, it's really important to give your wrists and forearms some love and attention. All right, finding stillness now, double check your knees are underneath your hips. Come through some cat and cow stretches. So I want you to round your spine, push your back up towards the ceiling, gaze between your thighs, and then inhale, stretch back out the other way. Let's do three more rounds. And last two. And last one. Awesome work. Now, tuck your toes under, lift up into a little bit of a downward dog. So push firmly through your arms and if possible, start to lengthen your legs. Take it easy, first stretch of the day. Maybe walk your dog here, one heel pushes down, then the other. Nice stretch for your hamstrings, calves, Achilles. And then bend both your knees and I want you to walk your hands back towards your feet. Lower your heels as soon as possible. Keep your knees bent, drop your head down, and then push through your legs and round up through your spine. One vertebrae at a time, all the way up to standing. All right, we're going to move into 10 air squats. What you wanna do is have your feet slightly wider than shoulder distance apart. You can have your toes either directly pointing forwards or have them just slightly turned out. And as you squat, I want you to sink your hips backwards like you're sitting into a chair that's really far behind you. Bend your knees and make sure that your knees are tracking out in line with your pinky toes and not rolling inwards, really important. And then as you stand, I want you to squeeze your hips forwards. So I'll show you from side on, hips back and down. And forward, let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, last two. We're gonna hold this next one down, one. Now, you're gonna come halfway up and then back down to your full depth. Let's do this 10 times, little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two. Last one, Woo. come all the way up. We're going to move now into 10 alternating reverse lunges. Begin with your feet, hip distance apart. And we're gonna imagine that there's two straight lines on the floor from where our feet are traveling backwards. You're now going to step one foot back, keep it on that line. Back, so you're not on a tight rope, you're not on one line, you keep your feet out hip distance apart. Step back, keep your back heel lifted, your front foot flat, and then you can hinge your body slightly forwards as you come down into a lunge. You wanna bend your front knee, keep your shoulders back, not hunched, and then push through your front leg, step forwards, change legs, other side, step back, little hinge forwards if you like, and then up. We hinge forward to avoid finding ourselves in a back bend, but if you are flexible through the hip flexors, you can keep your spine upright and that knee tracking straight down towards the floor. See how you go. Let's go for 10, nine, working on your balance here as well. Eight, seven, six, your knee goes pretty close to the floor. Five, back heel lifted, four, three, last two, Last one, amazing. Now, we've worked our legs, we're now gonna work on core. Come stand, if you've got a mat, come stand at the back end of your mat, bring your chin to your chest and round down through your spine. Hands hit the mat, knees bend. I want you to walk 
forwards, find a plank for a moment. So a nice long line from the top of your head down to your heels. Wrap the pointy bits of your elbows back towards your body and your elbow creases forward. Long spine and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees, come back to all fours, just like we did in our warm up cat and cow, knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Now I want you to reach your right arm forward and your left leg back at the same time and hold. We're finding balance here. Take a look down at your hip points and make sure that they're in line with each other. And then slowly bring the arm and the leg back in, change to the other side, out and bring it in. 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 Let's do five more for five. Try not to let your body move around too much. You just wanna move your arm and your leg. Last two, last one, awesome. Take your hands out wide on the mat now. Bring your knees back a little bit. We're coming into 10 push-ups. Take your chest forward over your hands. Now, options with the push-ups, you can stay on your knees like I'm going to today, or if you feel strong and more advanced, do these up on your toes. Now, if you can't get all the way down correctly, just do baby ones. What we wanna try and do is keep a nice long line from the top of our head to our knees the whole time. An example of poor technique would be to drop through the belly and push up like that. So if you need to, just do little ones. Let's go for 10. 10, elbows can go wide. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, last two, last one. Good, find a child's pose. Hips to heels, long arms, deep breath. Come all the way up onto all fours. To finish up our five minute express routine today, we're gonna do some thread the needles for our arms, which are great for opening up through your chest. I want you to inhale, lift one arm up high to the sky, gaze up. Exhale, thread your arm underneath the other. Maybe you can get the back of your shoulder to connect with the mat. Push down through your right arm, lift your left arm up high again and bring your arm down. Let's move into the other side. Right arm lifts up high, inhale. Exhale, thread it all the way through. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, bring it down. Let's do one more either side. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you thread, inhale to lift, exhale, bring it down. Last one, here we go, up and thread. Bring it up and bring it down. Tuck your toes under, let's lift up into a downward facing dog one more time, pressing your heels down. Now see if you can walk your feet up to your hands. Bend your knees as much as you need to to do so. Once you get there, round up through your spine. One vertebrae at a time, all the way up to standing. And then finally, let's take a little balance just to check in. See if you can rise up high on your tippy toes and find your balance and hold. Maybe take your arms all the way up above you. Hold for three, maybe close your eyes for two and one, and then slowly lower yourself all the way down. Okay, I really hope that you enjoy this express five minute daily workout routine. Squats, lunges, planking, a little bit of stretching, uh, and together it really makes a nice, well-rounded workout. Uh, that you can build upon. So you might start by doing this once and then find it starts to get a little bit easy and then you could do it two or even three times depending on how much time that you have. Don't forget to let me know how it went for you in the comments. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you wanna know also when I release new videos. My name is Steph Wild. Have an amazing day. Move beautifully. Bye for now.